guys welcome back to the channel so today i thought i'd come at you with a little haul of gymshark's underrated leggings the ones that are not part of a collection the ones that are just kind of miscellaneous if you know what i mean so i thought i would share with you my experience what i think of them first impression all that good stuff we got a lot of older pairs that have been around a while and some relatively newer pairs as well. So a little bit of a variety, but every single thing you see here, I have never tried before. Your girl has no freaking clue, okay? She just won't it. So let's go ahead and do this. But first, if you have not already, definitely hit that subscribe button for new videos every single week. So you don't miss out, let's go. Alrighty, so real quick, I just want to get out of the way what these leggings have in common. They're all in a size small, which is my true to size size. My measurements and each legging will be linked down below in case you want to take a closer look. Everything for me, for me, was squat proof, okay? I had Bay double check for me up in this window. So, squat proof, and they all have that four-way stretch gusset. Nice size gusset. So I just want to get the basic, just those things out of the way so I don't keep repeating myself for each one. All right, so first up, randomly picking right now, the Luster Leggings in dark blue. So right off the bat, trying these babies on, they were a little bit tight, Li little bit. Nothing cray, I still got them to fit. They were still comfortable, but slightly restrictive, slightly. These were $55. And the design itself, okay? You see up close, not from far away, but up close, it looks like little wavy designs. But when I first pulled them out of the bag, it looked like dog hair. For me personally, it just the design um, isn't totally appealing. And to some, it might look like cellulite as well, that, that waviness you got going on. The band is small. And I tend to like a bigger band. This is not seamless either, which I, I like seamless. <laughs> but nevertheless, overall, it's a decent fit. It's a bit long on me. I'm 5'3", so nothing new there. I do get a slight camel toe in this because you have a lot of seams. Okay, you gotta write down your middle. It's like, there's a lot of seams everywhere. You have a lot of the seam action going down the sides of your legs and it's all around just a seam kind of contour leggings. These are 87% polyester and 13% elastane, so they are very stretchy and they are wicking, but they do not have like a super buttery soft feel. They're soft, but they got that like a little bit of that roughness to it. Nothing, nothing crazy, but you know. The logo itself is so blended in that you don't even see it right down like your upper thigh area, okay? you. Girl, won't see it, but me, I like when my logos show. I want I want it to pop. I want a white logo. Look at that pop. Like that pop? And I would probably say these are about a medium to light impact, nothing crazy. Ooh, okay, next up we got the Turbo Seamless. Keyword, seamless. So you know right off the bat, it's got my vote. This baby is in the color brick red. You got a lot of tones of red on this, a lot of color block, breakup. A lot of movement, there's so much going on. This is Power Ranger Central, girlfriend. Nice ribbed high waistband. The Gymshark logo is mirrored, so you have it on both sides like that. All around really dope design. It's got a vintage vibe, a lot, a lot of ribbed action going on. I just wanna say, as cool as it is, they have a, a material underneath, so if you were to stretch this out, they have like another tone underneath here, which could make it look and appear as if this whole thing was sheer when you put it on. Like you're seeing your flesh underneath it, but it's not the case, it's actually the design itself. So I know what they were trying to do, give that distressed like cool, action-y, superhero-y looking design, almost like reflective, but it could look to some people like it's just, you know, see-through. <laughs> I still like it and I still love the fit. It doesn't give me a camel toe. It is seamless, so it helps in that aspect. And the booty contour is actually really nice. It hugs my peach pretty well. I love it. It's a pretty decent length on me. So it's made out of polyester, nylon, and elastane. So it's very, very stretchy, wicking as well. And it was $55. So it's got a little bit of that thicker material. It feels a little bit thicker, but I would still give this just a moderate compression. It's not highly compressive. 
I like the distressed logo and overall just those very like vintage vibes because that's that's your girl she really likes that so this is very unique in that sense Gymshark really stood out with this one so next we have the captivate leggings in the color fuchsia so these are not seamless they have a ton of seamed contours like straight up around your thighs and in fact i feel like the seams felt a slightly a little bit tight around here those seam contours um nothing crazy it still fit true to size you have a very steep booty contour okay it's a big arrow pointing down your crack so that's a very pronounced pronounced contour it does give me a camel toe no surprise there the band is a decent decent height i do love how the band it comes down okay it accentuates your curves it has that little bit of that like movement where the the band is lowered in the front the one thing that bothers me is that seam not only going up your crotch but going straight through to the upper part of the band here okay I don't really find that totally necessary. I feel like there's a lot of seam to begin with, so I could have done without that extra seam. <laughs> I like my bands to just be a band, but that's just me. Another thing I really love is the length. Oh, it could almost pass as a 7 8 legging. The way that it curves, the end actually curves up, so it exposes your ankle bone. This was $50 and it's made from nylon and elastane. So again, super stretch. And the logo is the same design as the luster, the first pair you saw, where it literally fades right in. You don't even see it. It's the same exact color as the legging. It has just a very light to moderate compression. It was all around a pretty cute piece. This isn't one of my favorites though. I'm gonna be honest with you. I, The fit was okay, but it wasn't like, oh my God, I'm obsessed with this, you know? Okay guys, next up, I got a pair of the Move Leggings in peach. You already know why I got this color. Peach is my favorite. Mm. So this baby was $45 and made of nylon and elastane. So again, super wicking, a lot of nylon it's made out of. So you feel, girl, you feel the softness. This is a buttery, buttery soft type of legging. Oh, it's so smooth and silky. This had a lot of potential, this legging but there's some things I just can't wrap my head around. So high-waisted like everything else, you have a smaller band. It is not seamless. So you got a bunch of seams coming down, right down the middle. Definitely gave me a camel toe for sure. Uh, I really, really enjoy that little baby sliver of mesh going all the way down each side of your legs. Very beautiful design. A little bit long on me as usual. A bunch of seamed contour, especially on the back side. The whole booty is a seamed contour. They put like an extra padding on the tushy to make it squat proof, I suppose, because everything else is, is kind of thinner. And then right when you get to just the booty, it's like extra material and it almost feels like Spanx underneath, like you're wearing underwear. And it felt weird when squatting. It felt as if I was wearing kind of a diaper. And from the back, it almost wrinkles up right at the... <laughs> You do have a lot of seamed contour up on the band too. The Gymshark logo is really cool. It's three-dimensional grip. Absolutely love that. They were definitely true to size. Again, these would have been a, such a perfect looking legging if it wasn't for that the Spanx, I think, just did it for me, okay? It was just a little awkward looking. But other than that, oh, the colors to die for and everything else is super cute. All right, we're moving on to the form leggings. Oh. So these are nearly identical to the move that you just saw. Almost identical. This is in the color mint. It's the same price, $45. It is made out of nylon and elastane as well, except this one has a little bit less nylon in it, so it's not as buttery soft, but it's still very nice and soft. The only real differences that I'm seeing is the fact that there is no seam down your middle crotchal region, which makes this not really camel toe nation it's pretty okay with the camel toe area yes that's an improvement <laughs> it also has in my opinion a nicer mesh line down the sides of your legs the back is the same you have the spanx that kind of spanx kind of extra material so mm, this overall fit me better i would personally go with the form over the move if i had to choose between the two there is not an actual built-in liner in here, so I don't want you to get it twisted thinking there's like a, an awkward like extra liner. It's just they double padded it. They double materialed 
it right here. They sewn that in as a double material. You also have the white logo on the back here, but it's not three dimensional grip. This one's just more printed, simple. These were a little bit long on me and you also do have the really nice backing, but the band's not broken up with seams. It's just a nice band and a little bit of seam action on the booty. So overall, pretty much identical. Totally would choose these. All right, guys, we are moving on to the laser cut tights. This is in the color turquoise. For me, it just looks like a grayish blue, more like a smoky gray. These were $55 and made out of nylon and elastane. So they are very buttery soft. Do appreciate that. This gave me a massive camel toe, girl. <laughs> but it's very unique because of its laser cut detail. So if you like that, it's very breathable like that, but it's still low, moderate compression, not high impact whatsoever. In fact, none of these are high impact. The laser cut holes on the side are not like super tiny. They're pretty noticeable. So if you if you dig that design, totally. And these were slightly long. The back of the band has a really nice hidden pocket here. It's just like a little a little slit here. <laughs> You do have the booty contour again. A lot of seamed booty contour, but overall the fit of these just, I didn't like the fit. And when I squatted, it just kind of felt like it was slipping off of me. I felt like the material didn't feel too, too grabby in the right areas. It just kind of felt like it was like hanging off my bum, a little too loose around the, around the bum. I didn't feel very safe and secure. All right, guys, we are moving on to the dreamy mesh leggings in the color khaki. Had to break it up with some of that olive green color. Okay, so with these leggings right off the bat, they are made out of polyester and elastane. So they are soft, very, very soft. Um, these almost feel a little thicker. Like I wouldn't personally want to wear these in the summertime. I feel like I would sweat. <laughs> but they are wicking materials, so should not be an issue really. It is very long on me, <laughs> no doubt about it. And it definitely gave me a camel toe. <laughs> these are $45. The band is nice. It's a nice thick band, but the upper third of it is mesh, but reinforced mesh. It's not see-through. You actually have material backing it. You have the pop of the white Gymshark face logo and you have not one, but two side pockets. So this is a great legging for somebody who maybe lives in a kind of slightly cooler environment and you like to take nice brisk walks with your dog, need to keep your freaking keys or something, your phone in your pocket, yeah. So you have a double seam contour going straight down the sides of the leggings, almost making it like look like panel leggings in a way. And the bottom third, like towards your ankles, is the see-through mesh. This is 100% breathable mesh, okay? No material backing it up. And the backing is just super plain, not gonna lie, super plain, okay? There's really not much to say about it. They were very true to size, and this is like a low, moderate type of compression legging. So yeah, I would say there's a lot that you can do with these leggings, depending on what you need them for. But me personally, I would keep these for more of a cooler day. All right, guys, last but not least, last one of the day, we're looking at the sculpt leggings in red. Had to get this fiery red, you know. So again, there's seams all up and down this baby for real. The band is like a medium sized band. Again, you have that annoying seam in the middle of it. Oh, come on. It does have that V cut though. I love that. The V cut has my vote. So girl, I am living for this color. And I will also love the fact that it has two side pockets. Your girl loves her pockets. The Gymshark logo is just the face, but it, it blends right in. You don't, don't even see that. These were so tough for me to get on. I, I, I would honestly say I'd have to size up, but I almost feel like that wouldn't be the solution. I think, because once I wore them, they felt like they were my size, but they were just hard to get on. They were $50 and they're nylon and elastane. They are soft and wicking, but for some reason it was just like, I think it's just the awkward seams or something, kind of felt a little restrictive around my hips. But once I put them on, they were okay. They kind of felt like the laser cut where when I squat, it didn't feel like it hugged me. It didn't stay put. Like it actually feels like the crotch region is like a foot away from my crotch. <laughs> so it felt like the material is just away from my body. It didn't move with me at all. <laughs> so I don't know. That's just me personally. They were long on me. And lastly, I want to discuss this back part we got going on here. So they put like a scrunch 
on the like upper quarter of the seamed crack. And I got so excited at first. I go, oh my God, is this gonna be the next camo? <laughs> no. It was um, all the way up on my lower back, bro. Like for real, like this made it all the way up to the top of, above my actual crack. So awkward. Now, if you have a real, real big bum, lucky you girl, then this might actually look good <laughs> for you, okay? But me, nah. You also have like the seams underneath the booty here as that little like pucker up kind of thing, you know, that little contour to boost up the bum, but it didn't really work for me. I'm gonna be honest, these just weren't very flattering at all. And like I said before, they didn't hug you and move with you. So that's a big thing. I need I need to feel like like my leggings are working with me. They're bringing me up, they're, they're with me during my workout, not just trying to get away from me. All right guys, so those were the eight, in my personal opinion, underrated Gymshark leggings. These are just like the older ones that kind of are out of the conversation. They're not the highlight of Gymshark's like page anymore. <laughs> Again, this was just my first real impression, first time trying any of these. And it's really cool for me to be able to see how far Gymshark has come, how they're evolving as a brand. So Ultimately, I mean, there were some definite hits and misses in this batch for sure. But again, this is just my opinion, so things that might not work for me might definitely work for other people. And that is what I love about Gymshark. They are always introducing new stylish pieces, something for everyone, which I really appreciate. So I could definitely see their evolution over time. And I truly appreciate that variety that they offer. They're always keeping it fun and spontaneous. So this is overall such a fun video to film. And I loved being able to try out these new, well, to me, new <laughs> Gymshark pieces. So hope this helped you out. All right, girl, if you're thinking, trying to buy any of these, hope this helped you out. Thank you all so, so much for watching. And I'll see you in my next video.